This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. I uh, just want to say I uh, really enjoy your guys' show. I've um, been listening to it for just, uh, not long, but uh, <clears throat> really enjoy your guys' program. Uh, hear the different stories, but uh, my name's Otter. Um, I'm originally from Saskatchewan, Canada, but I currently re- reside in Florida now. <clears throat> and uh, growing up, uh, I got to travel a lot. My family, they did a lot of shows. I did a lot of... Um, educational programs um, all over North America and um, I'm Native American by the way so uh, during these programs and stuff like that we did a lot of educational performances talk about our heritage and our culture and so on and so forth so while I was doing this growing up um, I got a chance to go all over the place just go to different shows different venues a lot of these venues they would put us up at different houses different chalets, hotel rooms, you know, et cetera, campsites, campgrounds, <clears throat> stuff like that. So, uh, um, as, you know, as Native American and stuff, well, we, we, we're really spiritual people, and I was brought up to be spiritual, and, you know, we believe in, you know, really in spirits, ghosts, <clears throat> you know, uh, different stuff like that, uh, that a lot of people probably don't really think twice about or anything like that, which is fine. But, um, I did grow, I had that following. I grew up uh, very spiritual. My mom, she's a very spiritual person. Um, <clears throat> my stepdad, he was very spiritual as well. But, um, so anyways, uh, we would stop at these uh, houses and chalets. So uh, we were doing a show for um, for a theme park in uh, in Dollywood. And uh, it was, I believe it was in Pigeon Forge, I was believe. Uh, <clears throat> but it was Dollywood and... When we were doing these shows, they put us up at a chalet like a couple miles from uh, the actual park, which is really, it's really, really beautiful territory, up, you know, in Tennessee and stuff. But uh, they put us up at the chalet and my family, like my entire family, my sisters, I have four sisters and four brothers. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, basically, uh, a, lot, a lot of times when I was younger, you know, we would all do these programs. And uh, so anyways, uh, Dollywood, they ended up putting us up at the chalet and uh it was a really 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 nice chalet like you know it was um you know upstairs downstairs it had a basement uh had an outside patio it actually had a jacuzzi uh you know it had a whole bunch of stuff it was really really nice i mean it was it, it, it was it looked fairly fairly new it wasn't like an old house or anything like that but anyways uh a lot of us, uh, the, the boys stayed in the family and stuff like that. Like, we all stayed down there. And, um, and downstairs, there was, like, three bedrooms down there and, like, a bathroom. Um, but there was kind of, like, a living room area downstairs. And that was kind of, like, our area where we would sleep. There was probably about three of, uh, about three or four of us that would sleep in that living room area, fold-out couches and, you know, whatnot. <clears throat> so my sisters, they were in these individual rooms um, that were downstairs. And uh, they were all down there, and they all uh, had their own room, and some of them were married, and some of them had boyfriends and stuff like that. So they all got their own room and stuff. Well, one of my sisters was a, was really even younger than me. Uh, at the time, she was probably about six, probably about six or seven years old. <clears throat> and she's never had any kind of experiences where she'd wake up in the middle of the night and, or sleepwalk or anything like that. Like, she, you know, she never... She never had any, you know, she was never, she never did anything like that. But um, this house, I mean, when we first got there, it, it was, it was, everybody was really excited, it looked really nice. But then there, you know, my mom and some of us, like, we kind of got like these weird, like, really kind of eerie vibes. Like, we were really excited to be in there, you know, just, just performing there for everybody. But we really did kind of get like this really eerie, eerie vibe from this, from this house. And, uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, we, you know, we say, it, we, we say a prayer and, uh, and, you know, we go on with, you know, the program, you know, we, we have to stay there for like a month. So anyways, <clears throat> uh, 
one night, uh, and like, like, like certain things would happen in the house, um, like the radios and stuff like that would be on when we got back to the chalet. Because uh, we all went as a group together. Everybody that was in the house was working at the park. So we would go to this park and then we'd work all day and do our programs and then we'd all come back together. And it wasn't really, no one would ever stay behind. So, you know, when we leave in the morning, we make sure everything's shut off and stuff like that. So we would have like, some things were turned on and, you know, people would chalk it up to just, you know, we forgot to turn it off. You know, there's, there's you know, a whole bunch of teenagers and stuff in the house too, you know, kids and stuff. So, you know, sometimes people, you know, forget to leave their things off, you know, stuff. So, um, anyways, uh, one night, it, you know, mid time, because we, like I said, we were there doing the shows for maybe about a month or so. Um, and in the middle of that month that we were there, um, you know, uh, I was sleeping in my bed and I'm a light sleeper. I'm a very light sleeper. And I can wake up to this anybody, somebody just walking in the room, and I, I just wake up. And uh, all, I believe there was three of us that were down there, and we all sleep on this fold-out couches. <clears throat> and uh, and we're all sleeping there. It was, it was late. It was like 2, 3 in the morning. And I just remember me waking up. And when I was waking up, my, my little sister was standing in front of the the, the window that's next to our bed that three of us are sleeping on, okay? And she's standing there and she's crying and she she just kept saying, no, I'm not going out there. No, I'm not gonna go. And my sister, uh, my older sister, Alana, she actually was actually running to her and she shut the window. And as I was waking up, she shut the window and she was like, are you okay? Are you okay? And was trying to hold her and hug her. You know, is everything okay? Are you okay? What's going on? And my sister, my little sister, was she was crying like crazy. Like she was just absolutely, you know, bawling tears. It was, it was absolutely ridiculous. And um, so anyways, I woke up to that and I was like, what is going on? What, you know, what happened? So that night uh, we brought her back to our parents' room and she ended up just sleeping. And then the next morning, she woke up and she told us everything that had happened. And what had happened was, she, what she had said was that she woke up and she was standing in front of that window. And like I said, she never had any kind of experience with uh, sleepwalking or anything. She was, you know, she never did anything like that. It, you know, it was very, 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 very weird and, and, and just out of the blue that she would be sleepwalking at that time. And um, and she said that she had woken up and she was in front of that window. And she could hear somebody outside telling her to come out the window, telling her to come out the window. And so she started crying immediately and she kept telling her, telling that person that was on the outside, no, I'm not gonna come out there. No, I'm not gonna come out there. And that window, um, I'm going to tell you right now is that we always kept those windows closed because, you know, you're, 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 you know, you're up in Tennessee mountains. It gets cold up there at night. So we always, every night, we always closed and locked those windows and we'd, we'd lock the doors every night. It was, it was like protocol. You know, we made sure, and we had a lot of, there's a lot of expensive stuff in there. It was a nice neighborhood. I mean, you know, it, we weren't worried about anybody breaking in the house or anything. But we did have all of our belongings in that house. We had everything that we owned in that house. So we we made sure we locked the windows before we went to bed, before we left the shows, when we came back, everything. You know, those windows usually were never open. And somehow that window was unlocked and that window was open. And I know I did not forget to close those windows. That basically, we always shut those windows. And um, she was she said that that voice was coming from outside and it was telling her to come out the window. And then at about that time uh, is when my sister had came in the room. She shut the window and locked the window. And what was really odd with me, what was really odd was that, like I said, I'm a light sleeper and there was three of us in that bed right there. And not one time did we wake up at, at all. And that still baffles me today 
and it happened several years ago, but, um, you know, she was crying very loud when I woke up, when I, when, when I woke up, she was, she was crying loud, very loud. And, uh, we slept right through it. We slept right through it. And we didn't hear her open up that window. If she did, we didn't hear that window open. We didn't hear her saying no. We didn't, we didn't hear her crying. You know, all of us were sleeping. We all, none of us woke up at that time. And uh, I thought, I find it really odd that it was like that. But um, that's, uh, this is one of my many ghost stories that, uh, that I have. Um, that, was, that one was a very odd one for me because uh, I've never, you know, felt, I felt helpless after that. Like I couldn't help my sister. And um, it was weird. It, it was just a really weird situation. But that chalet definitely has a few more stories personally with me, myself. But uh, I just want to share that one story with you. Um, I really appreciate what you guys do, you know, um, having everybody uh, come out and um, basically pour their uh, their stories out because they probably really haven't told a whole lot of people. But, you know, this is real stuff, and um, I think uh, it needs to get out more. So uh, thank you very much. This has been a Grave Confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your Grave Confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813.